If you, it doesn't make sense, Tamara, to have Jesus who brings newness, but you won't allow him to operate. Do I have any witnesses in this house? And, and, so, and so, when you look at verse 22, and we talked about it last week, we talked about it last week, glory to God. Verse 22 talks about not mixing the new with the old. Yeah. I mean, want a new life, but you're mixing the old with the new. You want a new relationship, but you're still fighting about the same stuff. Do I have any, do I have any um, witnesses in here? You want a new job, but you won't do nothing new. You won't even revise your resume. Do I have any witnesses? You want a job. I, I tell young people all the time. I tell young people all the time. Young people all the time. You want a job, but you don't want to smoke weed. Stop smoking weed long enough. Right. <laughs> To pass the P test. Do I have any witness? You talk about you want God to do something new inside of you, but you won't create a prayer life. You won't create Bible study habits. Are you listening to me? We talk about we want. <laughs> We talk about we want to fast. Yeah. And we want to be consecrated. Yeah. And spread. I need that. Come on, Come on. Help. We can't deny the flesh long enough Help. so God can talk to us. Right. What's so important about social media right. that you can't put it down for just a minute? Right. 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 What's so important? What's what's so important about it? I could go down the line, but I don't want to go down the line. Are you listening? Let me just say it like this. At some point, and we all I, I, I know I struggle. Maybe, maybe you don't struggle. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe Pastor Jeff, maybe, maybe, maybe they got it all together. Right. But but I struggle sometimes, Karina. I, I struggle sometimes. And, 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 and don't you notice that when you fast and when you consecrate, there's some things you don't desire until your flesh knows that you ain't going to have it? Right, right, right. 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 Ask your neighbor, says, is that you? I don't want to know the answer. Yeah. Isn't it funny how when you decide you're going to do something new, yeah. that that's when your flesh craves some of the stuff that you don't even really want. Are you listening to me? You might not even eat hot dogs, but you'll pass by Casper and say, I don't want Casper. Are you listening to me? I mean, there's some things that you don't even desire. But, 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 Jesus talked to them and he used the parable of the patch and then he used the parable of the wine. And he talks about, Pastor Jerry, how this wine is so good. Some of y'all know wine is good. If you don't know, you found out last Sunday. Somebody said, that was the best communion service we ever had. Joy I had, this is sidebar. Joy I had last week with the was watching this side. That line was long over, this line, over here on this, this over here side. But 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 Jesus talks about the wine. And he uses the parable of Belinda and Ken. He says, you don't put new wine. And old wine skins are 
old bottles. And said you don't do it because the new wine is fermenting. And it's expanding. And it's releasing gases. Are you listening to me? And so if you put it in a new a old bottle, first of all, old bottle's dirty. First of all, the whole bottle's been used. The whole wide skin does not have the capacity, I told you last week, to expand. Because it's already been shaped and been formed. Are you listening to me? And I really want y'all to get that. You don't put the new wine in the old wine skins because the old wine skin has been used already and it's already developed and formed. Are you listening to me? So it cannot form again. It's done. It can, and, it, and if you try to put the fermenting wine in the old wine skin, the fermenting wine is working. It's maturing. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all miss me. The wine is maturing. And if you put wine that's maturing in old wine skins that's already been formed and developed, is going to mess up the maturity of the wine. Because the wine skin is going to burst. And then the wine is wasted. The wine is maturing. So you mean to tell me you're going to take yourself with Jesus inside of you and Jesus is maturing and developing you and connect your developing self to old thoughts, old ways, old beliefs, old habits, connected to people that's doing the same stuff, connected to stuff that does not want to change and does not mature. Listen, what you're around does not have the capacity to hold your spiritual development. Everybody listening to me. This is a new year. This is a new season. This is a new time. I want to grow. I want to develop. I want change. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be out of shape. I don't want to be unhealthy. Uh -huh. Y'all not listening. That's what I don't want. I don't know. Maybe you satisfied with yourself. Maybe you satisfied with your spiritual development. But I'm not satisfied. And if you're saved, you ought not be satisfied where you are. And we got to stop making excuses for our lifestyle. Excuses for your lifestyle. Because watch this. When you're connected to people that can't appreciate your new wine, and you're connected to thoughts that cannot hold the wine that you are that's developing, mm -hmm. what happens is the Bible says that it burst and it wasted. So me, yes, it's, it's, it's just a loss. So he said, "Listen, you got new ideas. You got, you got, you got, you got. This is this is new ideas. And God is developing you, and you're going to connect yourself to a wine skin that can't stretch." and cannot hold the newness that you are, it bursts and it's a waste. So the question, what I'm trying to, the question I'm asking now, now, and this is very, this is very simple. Jesus brings you a quality of life That's what Jesus was trying to do. Bring them a quality, a new life. But they couldn't accept it because a 
of their rules and their religious beliefs. Some of us cannot accept the change that God is trying to do in your life because you are stuck in the same pattern. Are you listening to me today? I want to know what changes are you willing to make so that you can have a quality of life that Jesus wants you to have? Now we can talk about drinking. We can talk about drinking. I mean, that's just slow suicide. We can talk about smoking cigarettes. That's it just it's a slow suicide. We can we can talk we can talk about we can talk about sexing. That's just you trying to fulfill a void. We can talk about shopping, over shopping. Are you listening to me? Buying shoes you don't need. Buying suits and all kind of clothes we don't need. Are you listening to me? We can have a Macy's sale at your house. Oh, <laughs> Listen, if I ever said the church needs some money, all I gotta do is have y'all bring all your stuff out to court and get you away. Watch this, the sidebar. People that say they can't tithe, all you got to do is have a yard sale with the stuff you don't use and you can give God. This way. Yeah. Amen. Anybody hear what I'm saying? So Jesus is trying to show them that newness and old barrels don't work. Newness and old barrels don't work. <laughs> All of that. What changes do we need to make that Jesus <coughs> hallelujah, can give us the kind of church we need? Yeah. I mean, Jesus is trying to mature us, but we hanging on to old stuff, and it's killing us. Do I have any witnesses in here? Let me tell you something. You know how I know a lot of us hang on to old stuff? I can watch us in worship service. Now, today, I really wanted to keep rejoicing. Are you listening to me? And let me give it to you. The reality is Sunday morning is a time of worship and rejoicing. Yeah. 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 It's a time of rejoicing for what we didn't learn and we didn't did all week long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have I got a witness in here? Because when I shout today, I'm just not shouting based on Jesus um, kept the sun in the sky. I'm shouting on the word development. Right. That's happening in my life. So when I come together and corporate worship, it's a time to worship and rejoice. Watch this. And sometimes you can be so concerned about the ritual of service. Of how it's supposed to go and what's supposed to happen next. He's supposed to preach right here that you miss the transformation. Good God Almighty, that God is trying to do in the worship service. Let me tell you some God is so powerful that he can dry up cancer just as we sit right now. God is so powerful that he can do, he can redo, he can renew your heart while you're sitting right now. God is so powerful that the very thing that you are praying for, God can Do I have any 
have any witnesses in here. Let me give you this and I got to go. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 I got so much down here. I don't even know where to begin. Let me give this to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As soon as I find it. Um, he says, verse 22, it's talking about the new creation. Life in Christ. Life in Christ is an adventure. It's an adventure. It's are you listening to me? And I told you that the wineskins were, 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 were elastic and they would expand. Are you listening to me? While the wine was fermenting, and while the wine was building up pressure, um, wine, the old wineskins couldn't expand, but they would explode under pressure. They would explode under pressure. Everybody said pressure. Pressure. And so what Jesus was trying to do, good God Almighty, not only was Jesus trying to give them a new life, give them a new way of thinking, give them a new way of, of looking at life, but the old wineskins were lasting. And because they were used, the elastic would Right. But Jesus says, I want to give you a new elastic. Right. Yeah. Are you listening to me? And so Jesus, a new Jesus, mm. with new thoughts, new ideas, put into new wine, put into new skins that had new elastic means that when the pressure of the development of the wine, when the wine is fermenting, it means that it had new elastic, elastic, elastic. Elasticity, thank you, help me. And so it meant that because it was new, it could stretch. Are you listening to me? It, 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 it could stretch, it could take the pressure. And when you have Jesus inside of you, yes. the God Almighty, oh, yeah. oh. God gives you the ability to stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch this. The stretching that I'm talking about is not going through stretch. Pressure. The stretching that I'm talking about is not I'm going through yeah. and God is stretching me. The stretching I'm talking about is when God begins to expand your thinking. Yeah. When God begins to expand your life. When God begins to expand your territory. When God begins to expand you. You want to be able to. The old, the new wise kids can handle your development. Yeah. And some of us stop growing and thinking because we're in old wine skins. So when God tries to expand your thinking and when God tries to give you new ideas you cannot hold it because you're not in a, the capacity to expand. So you stay the same. Are you listening to 